Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm back sharing with you everything that Pia got for Christmas. I'm not showing stocking because obviously I showed that before. I've got an audience with me today. Neil's literally just sat on the sofa. I'm filming this late at night on Boxing Day. Um, I'm filming this late at night um, on Boxing Day just because I want to get it all packed and put away and stuff. So I've got quite a bit to show. A lot of the stuff that I got or Neil got, whatever, we got in the sale. So it looks excessive. Do you think it's excessive what we got her? No. Because everything was cheap. And then Neil's got quite a large family, so he's got two brothers. He's got a mum and a dad and they're separated so then she gets two presents like that. My mum and my dad are separated so then she gets two presents like that. And then I've got two aunties so she gets quite a lot but her birthday's not until November. So a lot of this stuff is going to last her the whole year. I like to buy a variety of things that isn't just like age related to her age now. We also have to excuse my parents. I look like shy. Never mind. Right so things from family first from Neil's brother Richard um, we got some Playmobil so this is the set I can't remember, didn't they say it was 25? Yeah, yeah. I think it was 25 it should have been £50 so we got it in the sale and this is the country life or just the country version so this is what the box looks like it's quite cool and it comes with all these things at the back for quite a lot when you think about 50 quid that to me is not a lot but for 25 i guess it's not too bad but what i really like is that it comes in this little carry case like this so it's quite long you've got a little light here and then these open but at the back you have these little clips and then like it's all in there so it's good for storage. I was really worried about how I was going to store this sort of stuff. I thought that was really clever. So that was from Neil's brother Richard. And there's all sorts of animals and fruit and God knows what else in there. People. And then from Neil's other brother, there's my piles. Something that Neil loves. Probably more than P. On the walkie-talkies. These are from the Sainsbury's toy sale. Um, me and my sister-in-law always chat about Sainsbury's toy sale and stuff. So these were in there. I know the price obviously because I did the sale. They went down from 14 99 to 10 or 9 99 And then the Disney Princess ones. And you have the on off switch here. And then you have to push down. Whoops. And then you obviously have the button where you push down and talk. And to go alongside it, they got her this Polly Pocket thing. To be honest, I think the bits are a bit too small for P to have. I just said if you see any Polly Pocket, just grab it. Um, I don't really know what it is. It's just mini figures, I think. And I think this is a fiver from what I can remember. So I think I'm just going to put this away just because it is a choking hazard. It says age three plus, but I'm not too sure. So I think I'm going to put that away until she's a little bit older. And then as the little extra, they also just got her a thing of chocolate. She got a lot of chocolate this year. Um, and this is just Milky Bar, little Father Christmas and elves and stuff. I buy a lot of presents on behalf of people and get the money back and mum is one of the people that I do it for. So I got home a bound from Poundland, so obviously that was a pound and then mum picked these up for P, which is Milky Bar, I assume these were a pound, they normally are. I got these potentially about a year ago and they're something I always wanted to give P. Mum was like, oh what do you want me to get her and I was like, I've got these, you can give them to her. So these, I don't know what they read, uh, no, I don't, uh, yeah, retail price is 41 .94 and I paid 9 99 for these from TK Maxx. You've got six in there, Super Scooter, Big Balloon, Bedtime Frog, Little Puddle, New Friend and Scary Monster. Mm, is it going to focus? Probably not, come on, there we go. So that is what they are, and then the Pip and Pose, these soft backs which she likes and she gets those from the library sometimes so got the bind up of those they're the only books that she got for christmas actually obviously she got loads for the book advent and um i also found this in morrison's which is smelly wellies i haven't played this yet but neil has with p and this should have been seven pounds i got it for 3.75 it was a really weird price um 
so I gave that to mum for P. So that is everything that my mum got for P. And then Neil's mum got her quite a bit, but again, I got quite a lot of it in the Sainsbury's Toys Dale, so you would have seen it before. We said that she needed some like basic bits because Neil's mum wanted to get her some extras. So she got her some white socks and then two packs of vests. We asked for plain white vests. She got these <laughs> Peppa Pig ones. I mean, they're not the best. They're actually not great at all, but it's fine. It is what it is, it's just vests. And then she ended up going back and getting some white ones from Primark. So I don't know the prices because they're being ripped off. I think these are like, I don't even know, two pounds something. I haven't got a clue how much these ones are. Um, these are Primark, these are Asda. Um, Primark socks, yeah again, I don't know the price of the Primark socks. I can't imagine they were too expensive. And then, and then she picked up these, which she's had for ages. I completely forgot about them, I love them. They're from Tesco's. Again, no idea what the price is because they've been cut off, but I can't imagine they have them in anymore they're quite autumnal so it was a two pack this one's my favorite it's navy and then it's got really pretty flowers on it so this with white tights and brown boots is beaut and we got these in the two to three and then the other one's gray with flowers they're quite thin so i think they'll be fine even though the dark colors um or like more autumnal they'll be fine in springtime and she picked this up which i thought was really good i haven't got a clue where this is from I assume it's from somewhere like Aldi or maybe the works. I'm not too sure. But P doesn't have anything like this. Um, this is first time learning my big clean, my big wipe clean numbers. This is quite advanced, I think, for P. I don't think she'll be using it. I mean, I don't know because I don't have any experience. But I don't think she'll be using it as a three-year-old. She might do, to see how she gets on with nursery, but it's really good, it's really educational. I remember doing stuff like this when I was small, but I think I'm, I must have been four or five. Like it's got adding and subtracting, but it's good to keep, just to put away for when I feel like she is ready, and oh, it's just giving me a headache just looking at it. It's like matching and stuff like that, and then it's got the wipe pen at the front as well. So yeah, it's a good little educational thing, which I really appreciate. You would have seen this stuff from the Sainsbury's toy sale. This year, Neil's mum gave me a budget to buy a piece and presents from the Sainsbury's toy sale. So the first thing was this little caravan, which I'm not going to lie, is pretty cool. This was £7.30, I think, which is quite expensive, but it should have been like £12. So it's this little caravan. The wheels move and then you lift the lid off. Inside it, you've got a little picnic table. And then it folds out, quite cool. Slides in the back here in a little boot. And then you've got four seats. Um, and then you get a little pepper. The pepper came with it. And then you can sit them in there. And then obviously put the roof on and then off they go on their little jollies. Like that. So yeah, that was from the Sainsbury's toy sale and that came with the pepper pig. To go along with it, I got little boxes. I don't know if you remember, they were like this big. And then they have a figure and then a little accessory. And they were reduced from like £4 to two sixty, I think. So we've got Zoe Zebra and her little scooter. Uh, like this. She's got a little helmet on. And then we've got Freddy Fox. And then he has a little bike. Like that. And then we have Gabriella. The goat. With the little pizza like that she loves this pizza so that was a little selection of pepper figures and then she also had the kitchen which came in a bigger box i've got one came in a box like this this size um and in it was a little fridge so you can open it up and then there's things in there the little oven they, there's nothing in the backs so you've got the little oven this doesn't open it literally does nothing it's just a plastic cube it came with the cake so you can put the cake at the back of the oven like that pepper and a chef hat and then mummy pig with the oven gloves like that and then it also came with a little frying pan which she absolutely loves um that set was 
full price is really bloody expensive. It should have been, I think it was £12, £11. I can't remember the exact price, but it's really expensive for that, like plastic tat. And then it got reduced down to six, which again is still really expensive when you think about what this is. But she she loves it, so and she really wanted a mummy pig. So again, that was from Neil's mum that I just got in the sale, and then she paid me back. And then the final lecture, which is something that P has been asking for for such a long time, is Topsy and Tim Father Christmas, and she calls it Topsy Tim Go Father Christmas House. So that's what that one is. Um, obviously she's well. I say she's collecting, we're collecting them all for her. She's got the majority of them now. But this one's really lovely. I haven't read it yet, Neil has. But they go and visit Father Christmas at the grotto or Father Christmas's house. And there he is, giving out presents. Um, it's just really nice and festive. Neil read it to her last night. And then the back page where you normally have the map something that I really appreciate is that it's covered in snow which I thought was quite apt so she's got that which she absolutely loves but my auntie not my auntie Carol my other one easel which is something P doesn't have this is what it looks like it's a Disney princess one I haven't got a clue where she would have got this from probably somewhere like B&M or Home Bargains or I don't know but you've got loads of stuff in here. I haven't opened it up yet. And to be honest, I haven't really got the room for it. So I'm going to put it in the conservatory. So the conservatory, when it gets a little bit warmer, is going to be like our arts and craft place. Because she's got a little table in there from Ikea. So I'm going to make like a little section for her. So this is where it's going to go. You can see it's like pink and purple. And it's got a chalk side, a whiteboard side. It comes with crayons, pencils, markers paint, ruler, pencil sharpener, rubber. So it comes with all sorts of stuff. From Neil's dad, it's a bit of a weird one. I still don't really understand the situation. What happened? He just had one spare. He got it with an upgrade, I think. Okay, so Neil went to his dad's not too long ago and Neil's dad had a tablet which he received from an upgrade. And I think, wasn't he going to sell it? Yeah, he was going to sell it, he was going to get rid of it, whatever. And then one of Neil's dad's friends suggested that P had it or something, wasn't it? Um, so we got given this, which is incredibly... Um, what's the word? Extravagant. Obviously, she's three. She does not need a tablet. Obviously, it's not an iPad, obviously. It's a hoi hoi. I don't know what they're called. Hoi thing. Media pad T110. I have got no clue how much these things are. But obviously, his dad didn't pay for it because it was an upgrade. You don't pay for upgrades, do you? It was just like a free gift or something. But this thing is one of those ones where you pay monthly. My iPad is really old. But my iPad is just a Wi-Fi one, whereas this one is a 3G one so you've got like a sim card in it and Neil's dad is paying for that so we've literally just been given this tablet um I mean I appreciate it of course I do it saves us a lot of money but it does make me feel a little bit uncomfortable the fact that my three-year-old has got a tablet but saying that she goes on my iPad all the time it keeps her quiet I know a lot of people don't agree with it and before I had P and when she was a baby I didn't agree with it at all but when I'm cooking dinner or I'm busy doing something, cooking, or I don't know, cleaning, and I need five minutes. She just quite happily, she quite happily sits on the iPad, and I do think, and so does Neil. They are quite educational. She knows how to do puzzles. Watching these weird YouTube videos has taught her food. It's taught her numbers, colours. It really has helped with her education, in my opinion. Um, she has learnt songs from watching this, and I know. She can do it from reading books and all of that, but she still reads her books. Um, I feel like I need to justify this because it's one of those things where a lot of parents don't like, or some of them do. She doesn't. She just. Blah, blah, blah. She won't take it to restaurants like a lot of parents do, and all of that, or round supermarkets. It's just a thing for at home, or if we're going on like a long car journey when we go on a sun holiday. So that is her tablet. We've completely sorted it out for her. She's got a picture of Rue. <laughs> as her background and she loves it so then to go alongside that crazy present just got her some headphones so when we are traveling 
if she wants to watch Peppa or something, she can listen to it and not disturb me with the noise of Peppa Pig or Baby Shark or her weird McDonald's Chinese videos that she likes to watch. I don't get it, but she watches them. So that is everything from friends and family and all of that. Oh my God, I'm 17 minutes in already and I'm not done. I've got to show you the stuff my dad got as well, but that goes along with another present. So I'll show you that last. Right, let's smash through this. Are you bored of me yet? Uh, no, you're not listening? Okay, good. Like I said at the start of the video, I buy throughout the year. And a lot of this stuff I've had for two years. It's just the way I shop. I buy in the sales. If I see it and I think that it's going to be appropriate for P in the following year or the year after, then I will get it. So something small, which potentially could have been a stocking present, but I gave to her as a main present, are some cat socks. Cat fluffy slipper socks from Aldi. And they were $1.99. And then the design <coughs> is at the back. So you've got the cat and then you've got the blue. So she got those. She really likes those. I don't know where to put all this stuff. Neil picked this up. I'm out of focus. Neil picked this up. I can't even remember. It must have been a year ago. Potentially two. year and a half. And that is this Disney princess dressing up dress. It isn't a particular style it's just got the disney princesses and then it's got like a sparkly skirt and it's purple it's in the age three to four we got that from toys r us when not the toys r us norwich no the toys r us in norwich got shut down i don't know if they're all closed down but our one is so we got that and i think that was maybe like 50 percent off for like four pounds then this one i got in the boxing day sale last year from john lewis this is clearly something I thought was a good deal, but now looking at it, it's quite expensive. Um, $8.99, I guess it's a good price. Again, it's a Disney Princess one, and this is Aurora. So, it's quite sweet. It's got sleeves, and then a really nice skirt and stuff. I guess it's a good price. The ones in Sainsbury's are like 17, 18 pounds, but they're like the legit Disney ones. So yeah, I hope she likes this. She's obviously received it, but we haven't dressed up or anything, because I'm only one day past giving them to her so we'll get that out tomorrow she can have a little play with that and then to go along with the dressing up thing we've got these now these have been in my attic for two years two and a half i'm not too sure and this is the grow and play sainsbury's dress up shoe set they don't do this anymore like i've said before in my sainsbury's toy sale videos they discontinued the Sainsbury's toy range when Argos went into Sainsbury's stores and it's now all Chad Valley, which I don't really like. So this is the old stuff which you can't get anymore. You can get the similar sort of thing. This was 5 50 I think. Four sets of shoes. You've got pink, dark purple, lilac and then a hot pink. You've got a crown, two jewellery, um, two earrings, a ring and a necklace. So I thought that was her like little dressing up stuff. She loved the shoes, she wanted to put them on straight away. From Home Baths, again like two years ago, she got Maisie last year. This year she got Guess How Much I Love You and these were, oh, I can't even remember because it was so long ago. I think this was like 79p for this massive set. 500 stickers, so you get like the shinies, like foil ones, you get 3D ones, you get this like duplicated and then you get these like cardboard ones with stickers that you stick onto this wooden woodland themed book thing i don't know she wanted stickers she got stickers so she loves that uh more pepper pig things that i wasn't going to gift her i was just going to keep it for potential baby number two if and when um but i was like nah she can just have it she loves pepper pig and these are the weebles i got these in boots last year when i was working there they were reduced in the, sa in, in the sale, in the Boots Christmas sale, and they were £3 each, which I guess is an average price. I probably wouldn't pay it now. But So she's got Delphine Donkey, and then she's got Candy Cat, and then she's already got a Princess Pepper one and a Rebecca Rabbit. So they're a good little gift. Definitely, I would say sort of like the one to two age mark as opposed to three onwards, but... Never mind, it's not doing any harm. A couple of DVDs this year. One, again, was from Poundland, Sound of Music. She's really into her musicals at the moment. She absolutely loves um, 
Chitty Chitty Bang Bang. That's one of her favourites. She was always running around the house singing Chitty Chitty Bang Bang. She bloody loves it. So I thought I'd get her Sound of Music. This is one of my favourite films. I bloody love this. This is a really long film. 167 minutes. I don't even know what that is in hours. It'll be a couple of sessions sit you but I want to start building up her musical collection I want to try and find Mary Poppins in a charity shop I haven't found it yet but I think she'll love it I recorded it on the telly at Christmas so we're gonna work our way through that but she's got the sound of music which I loved from a really really young age too she's got Paddington again I got this from HM not HMV I got it from Toys R Us in the sale before it closed down and I think I got this 40% off so it wasn't 4 99 it was a lot cheaper than that obviously it wouldn't be a haul for P if it weren't for two shiny DVDs the first one is Empress New Groove I haven't really seen this but I watched a trailer with P and she found it funny and it's about doesn't it turn into a llama or something or an alpaca I think it's an alpaca I can't remember but this is like a retro one she's got all of the princess ones now so she's got empress new groove and then the second one i got is bolt and i thought she'd like this because it's got a dog in it it's got a cat in it and it's got um the little hamster man thing it's the same so yeah this was oh i didn't say price that's not like me this was 4.99 in hmv and then this was three pounds in sainsbury's but i can't take the sticker off because it's marked, it's got a mark, like it's ripped the foil off. So that's really pissed me off. But it's okay because it doesn't ruin the spine. So on her bookshelf it'll be, or her collection it'll be fine. So she's got those. Got some crafts bits, just cheap. 50p from, whoops, 50p from Wilco because she loves some gel pens. She's been drawing with my biros at the moment so I thought I'd get her own gel pens. Um, her cousins have got twistable crayons and she loved those so I thought I'd pick up some of these again these are from Wilco these are a pound and then a classic which I saw and I was like oh I'll have them as well because they're a pound are some stampers which I love I don't let her have markers like felt tip markers but some stampers are okay with supervision so she's got those um I guess a little boring present but I really liked was this. Again, I've had this for over a year. I got this in TK Maxx in Skegness. Should have been £15, got reduced down to 5 And it's just a new dinnerware set. P's really gotten into drinking out of a cup this past like week. Works really well. It's a ballerina surprise. She's got like little ballerinas on it. And then it's got the plate, the bowl, the fork, the spoon and the little melamine cup. Which is really, really sweet. We actually gave one to Evie for her second birth no oh my god she's not even two we gave it for her first birthday last year no this year february oh i don't bloody know but yeah p's now got one too i'm almost done from i've had this for ages so for p's first christmas she got given this i don't even know where it oh uh, here it is she got given this Fisher Price phone, Neil got it for her and she loved it but it died. Saying so it died and we complained to we complained to Fisher Price, didn't they? And they asked where we'd like vouchers for to buy a new one. Um and we said Argos, which is where you got it from. I can't remember. Um but in Argos at the time it was on two for fifteen and we had a fifteen pound voucher. So I got obviously the replacement one of that which she still uses to this day and then alongside it i got this so this is technically free we didn't pay for this at all and i just kept it away for a year or two i can't remember and just thought well sod it it's included in in the deal i had a 15 pound voucher so i may as well get her this so this is play-doh it's a big kit 16 accessories 18 tubs of play-doh We've got all the colours. She got it out for the first time today. This is the first time she's ever had Play-Doh. Um, and she loves it. So, all sorts of colours. I let her have a colour at a time. Because I'm a control freak. And she was like, orange one now please mummy. Pink now please. Like, Let's put it away. So yeah, we've had fun doing that today. But the fact it was free. like it, All of this stuff, look, like how long I've been filming. It does look really excessive. But... The price that I've got everything for is just so minimal. And when you look at this, you think, oh, that's a lot. But actually, it was free. 
that's just how I shop. I got another princess doll just because we went to go and see Aladdin at the Panto and she loved it. So she loves Princess Jasmine. She's got a minifigure and she's also obviously got her genie Jasmine costume. So we've got that. That was £7.50. That's more expensive than the one in the Sainsbury's toy sale. This was from Tesco's. Uh, my friend Rosie picked it up for me. So it's got a little tiger and then obviously it's got Jasmine in it as well. The thing from the Sainsbury's toy sale, which I got on the whim on like literally the last day, um, is a new baby. She has got the really small one from Sainsbury's a couple years ago. She's also got a big baby bell, which I got last Christmas, which she doesn't really play with. So I thought I'd get her another like cheapy soft one. That's sort of what she gravitates to. She much prefers her cheap £4 one from Sainos. So I got her this one. Again, it's the Chad Valley. I'm not a massive fan. It's bigger than her other one. but And it's eyes move, which is something I don't really like. You can't see. But she loves her. She doesn't really play with her babies too much. But when she has friends over and stuff and they fight over the small one, I thought I'd just grab another one. This was half price. It was £6, which I didn't think was a bad price at all. Um, and I've just said it's from my grandma. Just because grandma gave me some money for pay. So... She's got that. I have had for ages. I got from Morrison's. This was a really good price. I'm really happy I picked it up. I wasn't going to because of the Sainsbury's toy sale, but they didn't actually bring this one in. Um, this was reduced from £13 to £6.50. Here we go. And it's a little Peppa Pig classroom set. So you've got loads of figures in this, which is why I got it. It works out really good value for money, considering one of these little figures and accessories is normally £4, and this whole set was £6.50. Um... So it's got the art easel, or the chalkboard, Madame Gazelle, two workbenches and two seats. I don't know if you can see. There you go. And then it's got Danny Dog, Pepper, Candy Cat and Susie Sheep. So she's now got all of the characters, apart from Pedro Pony. I go alongside that again from the Sainsbury's Toy Sale, because it's where I get all of her stuff. I got some more figures, so she really, really wanted a George, and I couldn't find normal George, but she did get Space George, which I think he's pretty cool, and his little metallic thing, and then to go with Space George came the little spaceship. I don't really know what you're supposed to do with these weird little figure things, like these bits, but she's got a little George, then she got a Rebecca Rabbit Hospital one, which is what she calls it. She did come with a doctor's bag. But I've already lost that. I haven't got a clue where that is in the house. So she's got a little Rebecca Rabbit. And then she's got... Gordon? Jeffrey? Gerald? Gerald. Is his name Gerald? Do you know? Is it Gerald the Giraffe? The yeah, I think it's Gerald the Giraffe. He's pretty cool. I like him. He's got a really long neck, obviously, because he's a giraffe. But I like him a lot. And then he came with a weird little rubber train. Which I don't, I just don't get it. I don't get what they're supposed to do with these weird little figure things. I guess it goes like that. But yeah, she got those and again they were £2.60. A little pack. Um, oh, one thing that she really wanted when we went to Aldi was this Pigs and Blankets game. It's basically like Match and Snap. This was 3 99 which is quite expensive. But it's festive as well pigs in blankets i liked it um so there are different ways she can play it she can play it on her own or she can play it like together like playing snap or something and then one of like her main presents from us aside from her like her big one was all of these again if you watch my sainsbury's toy sale haul i'm sorry that i keep referring to it i originally went in and got <laughs> rapunzel and then throughout the week not only myself, but also Ray Rosie, who lives down in Brighton. We got all of them, apart from one, which one of my viewers has got for me because she's sending me a whole load of stuff because, again, I'm insane. Um, so I'm missing Snow White, but fingers crossed that'll come at some point. Um, I got all the Disney princesses because I just got... I've got a really bad collective personality and I just have to have them all. So she has got Aurora... Mulan. She really likes this Mulan one. She's also got Jasmine and Tiana, but she's already had those for her birthday. And then she got Jasmine when we went to the Panto. She's got two Cinderellas. So she's got Cinderella in pink, because everyone needs two Cinderellas. And then she's got Cinderella in blue. And then she's got, obviously, Rapunzel, who's beautiful. She's my fave. Look at her eyes. You see? 
love her. Um, she's got two Elsas, so she's got the one in the green dress, and then she's just got typical Elsa frozen dress. She's got an Anna, which I think she's pretty cute, like that. And then look at her little hair, love that, look at the detail. Um, she's got Ariel with legs, because there's Ariel with legs and an Ariel with a fish tail. She's quite cool, look. And they're all movable as well. She's got Merida. P doesn't know who Merida is, but she's got Merida from Brave. Love her hair. She's cool, look, she's got little boots on. Hang on. You see? And then, oh, she also got the lunchbox from Poundland. It's got a shimmer and shine on it, because I thought it was good to keep her figures in. Um, and then she's also got two bells. One looks Chinese, and then the other one looks normal. This one looks Chinese. Damn it, my battery's flashing. It's not going to focus. That's Chinese bell, and then that's normal bell. But one's in pink, and then one's in blue. And they're all, like, movable, so you can move their heads, you can move their legs, move their arms, and all of that. And they were £2.12 each. They're really expensive now. They're, like, £4.50 but I just, I just love them all. So they're her girls, I refer to them as, and the reason why I got her so many is for her main presence. I went to a mum sale with Ellie, and this lady had it there for 30 quid, and I was like, you know what, I'm gonna get it, it's cheap, it's immaculate condition, I got her the doll's house. So then that leaves me on to what my dad got her. My dad works in John Lewis, and on the Black Friday deal, they had these reduced from 15 pounds down to 12 or 8 I can't remember must have been 12 pounds and then they get I think it's 25 I don't know if dad gets more or not because he's been there for so long but he got his, dis his discount on top of it and I said have you got any ideas as to what to get P if not I'd really really like you to get some furniture so the John Lewis furniture is beautiful I'll show you it properly up close in the doll's house once I've finished filming um but this is the bedroom furniture. So he got the bedroom one with the two chest of drawers, the double bed, and then the little vanity unit in the chair. So got that. Full price, this stuff is really expensive, but it is lovely, good quality furniture. You got the sitting room set. So you get a double, two singles, coffee table, lamp, and then you get a DVD player, TV box, stand, and then the TV. Ah. <sighs> The kitchen furniture which I think is epic I love this um, so it's got the stove is it gonna focus it's got like the hob and stuff dining room table and then it's got the fridge which I love so cool and then finally he got the kids bedroom set I do wish he got a bathroom set I'm not gonna lie it would have been really handy if she got a bathroom set but never mind I love the bunk beds, I think they're epic. She's got the bunk beds, toy box, doll's house, and then a bedside table with a lamp as well. This is the doll's house. Like I said, it was second hand. So the only thing that's wrong with it is there's a tiny little chip here. But I think this is originally from Asda. And then this opens like this. And then this opens like this oh I've got Neil moving the light for me cheers pal perfect oh just turn it off that's fine thank you when my dad and Neil were looking at this last night we were saying about how it's quite difficult to play in because it goes quite far back so P normally just plays on this top bit because it's easy access and it's light so I think Neil wants to get some like fairy lights or something and like light oh neil wants to, you want to put in proper lights you want to be like a proper electrician it's never going to happen dad suggested putting in some fairy lights and like just running them down the stairs and giving it a little bit of light because it is quite dark and quite difficult to play with oh well, yeah neil wants to put in windows and bifold doors and all sorts and i just said just put some lights in so this is obviously the furniture that dad got Really, really good, sturdy quality. Really sweet. She loves playing with this little oven and she puts like all of her pepper stuff in. So she'll put like the pizza in the oven, she'll put the cake in there, she'll put the eggs on top. And then we've got the little fridge that says John Lewis on it. I know it's quite fancy. Oh, she's put a casual pillow in the freezer. 
um it's quite fancy but we're just lucky that my dad's able to get discount um and then like you've got the little tv unit oh and then these are the little like sky box and then the dvd or tv box and then you've got like proper cushions that sit in the furniture and likewise with the bedding you've got the mattress the cover and then the pillow and it's like the toy box that says toys you can actually open and close it um and then when we got this this came with a little bit of furniture the shower we've got the little bath which is nowhere near as nice as the john lewis stuff i've kept out this clock because i thought it was quite cool a spare lamp and then she's got a toilet and a little um vanity unit for a bathroom so she's got everything that she needs but yeah this is the doll's house she's got a couple of people but normally she just plays with her little um like Disney characters and they all sit at the top and she like throws them down the stairs and all sorts. She absolutely loves it. And then I'll just shut it and then you can see the front again. So she's obviously got a workable door. She's got really pretty bay windows. These are plastic. And then she's got closable windows. So when she goes to bed, she's like, shut the windows, mummy. And then this. I was always really worried about the lid being quite heavy, but it's not. There we go. Everything that P got for Christmas this year, I know it's excessive, but we've got people that want to treat her and I want to treat her too. I haven't got a clue on what to start looking for for her fourth birthday or Christmas. So leave suggestions down in the comments because I haven't got a clue what to start looking out for. At the start, I don't want this to come across like I'm bragging. I know it's long, but all of my videos are long. I've spoken as fast as I can. Now I need to find storage for all of this stuff, but I'm happy with what she's got. I feel like she's got a really, really good selection and I'm trying to do it as cheaply as I can for as long as I can. Right, I hope you enjoyed today's video and I'll see you all in my next one. Bye.